thanks for tuning in once again. I'm Patrick from Walsh in the Woods. Welcome back to the base camp and my cabin. I uh, came out today because I got a new stove. Uh, I want to uh, give it a really good test. I already burnt it out back at the house, but I wanted to kind of cook something on it today, kind of see how it goes with the shelter. My girlfriend was out with me yesterday, helped me install it. Didn't really want to film it because it wasn't too exciting. But uh, like I said, we burnt it out at the house so I could get kind of that new paint off it, so to speak, and it uh, went really well. It uh, looks like it's going to work out really well, so today's goal is to have a coffee and a steak for lunch. Uh, in a minute here, I'll give you a walk around just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. Uh, also, I built a wood shelter in the back there, which will give you a shot of that. So if you've been following me on Instagram, you'll see some of this stuff pop up once in a while, so don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Uh, it's a good way to keep on top of what I'm doing now, and then you can see the videos later as we go along. Uh, yeah, so pretty excited to do that. As you might tell, I'm a little under the weather. I got a bit of a head cold started today, so bear with me if you hear sniffles, coughs, and so on and so, so forth. So uh, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, it's been a nice day. It's about 15 or 16 degrees right now. Uh, a little chilly, it's now fall, so uh, the colors are starting to come out and the temperature's starting to drop, so pretty nice otherwise though. So, Without further ado, I'll uh, give you a little tour around, grab the other camera, and uh, then we'll get a fire going and get some food on. Okay, so here's the stove. I'm going to show you that first. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the basic design. A little grill on top so you can boil water and whatnot. Um, we had to cut the legs so they'd be drop so the stove would drop down a little bit more. Um, it's made of steel, so it's pretty solid. Uh, it is made overseas, so it's not uh, very expensive. It was only about hundred dollars for this stove. Um, so far, so good. Like I said, the burn test went really well, so hopefully everything goes well today. Um, now, I'm going to give you a little shot of the back. So it looks pretty much the same. So in this case, uh, we put more caulking around here just so it uh, wouldn't uh, wouldn't leak so much. Hopefully, I strapped it down uh, just so the wind wouldn't take it. That bent in a little bit right there, but that's okay. I think we'll be okay, and hopefully that's long enough. Um, I also put a little grill in there for a spark arrestor so nothing comes back up onto the uh, structure and, and there's my wood overhang really basic really simple it's just to keep a little bit of the rain off it so I can have some relatively dry wood accessible it's not perfect but it's gonna it's gonna help a lot and just kinda keeping it dry and I can't keep it inside the cabin because it's just too much material so, so yeah that's uh, pretty much where we're at uh, I was doing some wood processing yesterday, obviously. Uh, it's a lot of work. It's hard on the arms, but uh, I'll do a little bit every time I'm out here and try and build up uh, a base, if you will. And uh, obviously you could see some kindling and stuff in there, so did a fair bit of work. So I'm going to process just a little bit more wood, and we're going to get a fire going, get some water on, and uh, yeah, get a, get a tea or coffee and, and a nice little steak for lunch. Okay, so I decided to uh, fix a block in. I know it's going to get wet in the winter, and I know it's going to get icy, but I figured rather than carrying it back and forth all the time, I'm just going to have one out here, uh, one that I can access pretty easily. Obviously, i got the wood cutting station over here, 
I can do more splitting over here. Uh, I tamped it down as best I could. It's pretty soft ground around here. So hopefully she holds. I think it'll end up probably setting a bit better over the winter. Like she's not too wobbly right now. And I think all I'll do is I'll keep coming back, keep tamping it down every now and again just so she doesn't move. But should be good for my purposes. It's a bit of a smoke show in there. A uh, couple early mistakes. I didn't uh, make the chimney as tall as it needed to be, so I extended that out. Uh, I also had a filter for sparks, as I mentioned. It seemed to be clogging up immediately with ash and things like that, so I decided to take it out for the time being. Yeah, I didn't really see that one coming, but it, uh, it's unfortunate. Uh, it's doing okay right now. I might have to make some real quick adjustments here. It's uh, again pretty smoky in there and it's, I think I'm going to have to learn how to do it properly and get it dialed in. Uh, being the first go in there I just kind of learned to need to learn the little tricks. I'll show you what I did with the the filter to try and mitigate it from hitting the plastic behind my uh, my shelter. So I just curled it back out so hopefully it'll rest any sparks wanting to go backwards. Uh, that's that's the hope right now. You can't see a lot of smoke coming out which is not a bad thing in some regards because that means it's burning really hot but the uh, the other bad thing is that there's smoke all in the cabin so uh, it's gonna be tricky trying to figure out this stuff because you really can't be in there when it gets that smoky and it's still really smoky so I'm not really sure all right so this stove is turning out to be a bit of a fail right now uh, I had to extend the pipe out I think I might have mentioned that and and then I took the filter off and then it melted the plastic because it's now obviously too close and I just thought well maybe I can get away with it Nope, with the filter it didn't cause any issues and then now it's melted a little bit so I'll have to replace that for winter. Yeah, it's a bit of a disappointment. It's uh, I'm not really sure what's going on. Whatever it is, it's not getting better. I mean, it's getting a little better, but it's not getting a ton better, so I guess I'll have to go back to the drawing board for this one, because you can't stay in that. It's You just don't die. See, it's just blowing against it, so I'm using this to try and divert a little bit of the heat, but it's not going to do that much, so. I am going to probably, uh, going to have to seriously rethink this one. I think I've come up with a reasonable solution so where the hole is here I'll turn it around for you so where the hole is now I think I'm going to take two boards and put them up here I'm going to cut the plastic and uh, tape it to the boards and seal it uh, and then on the top I'm going to weatherproof the top and then I'm going to put a, a, a basically a, a plate in front of it and it's going to rest just down here just rest. I'm not trying to put it in, uh, I'm not too solidly. And then if I should have an advent, or sorry, if I should have a moment where there's too much smoke in there, it would be a good way to vent it out because hot air rises, it would suck it out, and then we could vent it out. We could also vent out through the evening as it, uh, as the night goes on, if it should get worse for whatever reason. Um, and that will minimize that. It fixes my whole problem. Son of a bitch. And what I'll do is I'll latch it from the inside so that it can be propped it out from the inside and that way it would be an extra air vent and that might get me through the winter um, and I might have to rethink this whole thing by the end of it. But for now that's, that's going to work. This guy I, I don't know. I might actually just leave him. Like he's not venting too much air and as long as there's no water coming in I don't care but if water comes in I'll have to uh, goop them up again, which is another $15 too, but no big deal. 
So that seems like a reasonable solution to my problem for now. Uh, it's, again, now going to take a bit more work and and some jimmy rigging, but that's a that's a win because I don't want that plastic to melt any more than it is. And if I extend it up for whatever reason, I can't do that either. So I think that's going to be a good fix for me. So, anyways, I'm going to go back and finish my steak. It's quite tasty, actually, even though I'm barely taste anything with this cold. My nose is running like crazy with the smoke but thanks for watching guys really appreciate it a little bit of a disappointing video for you guys uh, a little excitement for me i guess on one level uh, uh these are the bumps and bruises that we go through when we get new things and uh you know i could only test it so much in certain environments so i'll learn from it and hopefully i'll fix it up and when i do i'll let you know and i'll show you what it is until then i'll talk to you later bye Here's how it is I just restlessly spin in the wind